In Sanskrit texts, Raja Yoga was both the goal of yoga and a method of attaining it. The term also became a modern name for the practice of yoga, when in the 19th century Swami Vivekananda equated Raja Yoga with the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. Since then, Raja Yoga has variously been called Royal Yoga, Royal Union, Sahaj Marg, Classical Yoga, and Astanga Yoga. Topic. Etymology and usage Raja Sanskrit, Raja means chief, best of its kind, or king. Raja Yoga thus refers to chief, best of yoga. The historical use of the term Raja Yoga is found in other contexts, quite different than its modern usage. In ancient and medieval Sanskrit texts, it meant the highest state of yoga practice, one reaching samadhi. Hatha Yoga Pradipika, for example, refers to Hatha Yoga as one of the ways to achieve Raja Yoga. The first known use of the phrase, Raja Yoga, occurs in a 16th century commentary on a specific step in the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. The Hindu scholar Dattatreya, in his medieval era tantric work named Yogasastra explains in 334 shlokas, principles of four yoga, mantra yoga, hatha yoga, laya yoga and raja yoga. Alan Danielu states that raja yoga was, in the historic literature of Hinduism, one of five known methods of yoga, with the other four being hatha yoga, mantra yoga, laya yoga and shiva yoga. Danielu translates it as Royal way to reintegration of self with universal self Brahman. The term became a modern retronym when in the 19th century Swami Vivekananda equated Raja Yoga with the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. This sense of meaning is different from Hatha Yoga Pradipika, a text of the Natha Sampradaya, where it is a different practice. The Brahma Kumaris, a new religious movement, teaches a form of meditation it calls Raja Yoga. That has nothing to do with either the precepts of Hatha Yoga or Patanjali's Yoga Sutras. Modern interpretations and literature that discusses Raja Yoga often credit Patanjali's Yoga Sutras as its textual source, but many neither adopt the teachings nor the philosophical foundations of the Yoga school of Hinduism. This mixing of concepts has led to confusion in understanding historical and modern Indian literature on yoga. Topic History Topic <laughs> In Shaivism The Shaiva Yoga text, Amanaska, dated to be from the 12th century CE or earlier, is a dialogue between Vamadeva and deity Shiva. In the second chapter, the text mentions Raja Yoga, and explains why it is called so. It states that it is so named because it enables the yogin to reach the illustrious king within oneself, the supreme self. Raja Yoga is declared as the goal where one experiences nothing but the bliss of the undisturbed, the natural state of calm, serenity, peace, communion within and contentment. The Raja Yoga goal and state is synonymous with various terms, such as Amanaska, Unmani and Sahaj. The Hatha Yoga Pradipika literally, a little light on Hatha Yoga asserts this as follows. As a type of yoga Some medieval-era Indian texts on yoga list Raja Yoga as one of many types of yoga. For example, the Sarvanga Yoga Pradipika, a Braj Bhashya commentary by Sundardis, from the 17th century, teach three tetrads of yogas. The first group is Bhakti Yoga, Mantra Yoga, Laya Yoga, and Karcha Yoga, the second group is Hatha Yoga, Raja Yoga, Laksha Yoga, and Astanga Yoga, the third is Samkhya Yoga, Jayanana Yoga, Brahma Yoga, and Advaita Yoga. Of these twelve, Sundardis states that Raja Yoga is the best yoga. As the yoga system of Patanjali 
One meaning of Raja Yoga is as a modern retronym introduced by Swami Vivekananda, when he equated Raja Yoga with the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. After its circulation in the first half of 1st millennium CE, many Indian scholars reviewed it, then published the Basya notes and commentary on it, which together form a canon of texts called the Patanjaliyogasastra, the treatise on yoga of Patanjali. According to Axel Michaels, the Yoga Sutras are built upon fragments of texts and traditions from ancient India. According to Feuerstein, the Yoga Sutras are a condensation of two different traditions, namely, Eight Limb Yoga, Ashtanga Yoga, and Action Yoga, Kriya Yoga. The Kriya Yoga part is contained in Chapter 1, Chapter 2 verse 1 to 27, Chapter 3 except verse 54, and Chapter 4. The Eight Limb Yoga is described in chapter 2 verse 28 to 55, and chapter 3 verse 3 and 54. There are numerous parallels in the concepts in ancient Samkhya, Yoga and Abhidharma schools of thought, particularly from 2nd century BCE to 1st century AD, notes Larson. Patanjali's Yoga Sutras may be a synthesis of these three traditions. From Samkhya school of Hinduism, Yoga Sutras adopt the reflective discernment Adyavasaya of Prakti and Purusa dualism, its metaphysical rationalism, as well its three epistemic methods to gaining reliable knowledge. From Abhidharma Buddhism's idea of Nirodhasamadhi, suggests Larson, Yoga Sutras adopt the pursuit of altered state of awareness, but unlike Buddhism which believes that there is neither self nor soul, Yoga is physicalist and realist like Samkhya in believing that each individual has a self and soul. The third concept Yoga Sutras synthesize into its philosophy is the ancient ascetic traditions of isolation, meditation and introspection, as well as the yoga ideas from the first millennium BCE Indian texts such as Katha Upanishad, Shvatashvatara Upanishad and Maitri Upanishad. Topic: <laughs> Islamic period In early 11th century, the Persian scholar al-Biruni visited India, lived with Hindus for 16 years, and with their help translated several significant Sanskrit works into Arabic and Persian languages. One of these was Patanjali's Yoga Sutras. Along with generally accurate translations, al-Biruni's text has significant differences than Yoga Sutra manuscripts discovered in India during the 19th century. Al-Biruni's record has helped modern scholars establish that Patanjali's Yoga Sutras manuscript existed in India in many versions, each with multiple commentaries by Hindu scholars. Some of these versions and commentaries have been lost or yet to be found. Al-Biruni's translation preserved many of the core themes of yoga philosophy of Hinduism, but certain sutras and analytical commentaries were restated making it more consistent with Islamic monotheistic theology. Al-Biruni's version of Yoga Sutras reached Persia and Arabian Peninsula by about 1050 AD. In Indian historical timeline, marking with the arrival of Islam in India in 12th century, further development and literature on yoga philosophy of Hinduism went into decline. By the 16th century, Patanjali's yoga philosophy was nearly extinct. Yoga was preserved by Sadhus ascetics, sannyasis, of India. Some of the Hindu yoga elements were adopted by Sufi sect of Muslims in India. The Sufi Muslims at times adopted and protected the yoga tradition of Hindus during the Islamic rule of India, and at other times helped the persecution and violence against those Hindus. The Mughal Emperor Akbar, known for his syncretic tolerance, was attracted to and patronized yoga philosophy of Hinduism. Topic. See also Hatha Yoga Kriya Yoga Kundalini Yoga Bhakti Yoga Sitabhumi Jnana Yoga Karma Yoga Shinshin Toitsu Do, Japanese Yoga Samyama holding together.